My name is uh, Chris Johnson. I'm in the French department at Nottingham University. I'll start with um, this uh, image here, and it's by an artist called Thibault uh, Erem from 2012. What particularly interests me about it really is that the creator himself, Marc Lecky, expresses an interest in French surrealism. But one of the things about surrealism is important uh, juxtaposition objects or elements that come from totally unrelated uh, areas. And what the artist has done here, I feel, is, is, is something very surrealist. Um, uh, she's, he or she uh, has uh, juxtaposed representations from totally different areas of a ends of a spectrum. So what you have is a kind of juxtaposition of, one could say, the in immensely uh, ancient, the immensely old, uh, the mythological, this um, hybrid beast um, of, uh, composed of human and bull, and in the background one has uh, a circuit ball which you could say is one of the most advanced technologies um, that was developed during the uh, 20th century. Um, this circuit board is like a labyrinth and if you know anything about the myth of the Minotaur, the Minotaur inhabits the labyrinth. I think this image um, uh, does uh, condense, it does um, in a sense, it's a kind of microcosm of, thematically um, of uh, the exhibition itself, which I think is about the human and the animal and combinations of human, animal and also the relationship between humans and machines. It relates also to a representation, a sculpture, sculpture of a, a minotaur, a very striking um, sculpture uh, of a minotaur's head. Uh, this was the other object which um, particularly uh, attracted me in a kind of range of themes that we t tend to focus on. I think that's what the, um, the creator's done here. I think there is um, uh, a fascination with um, older technology, if you want, almost like um, technology as um, an archaeological um, object. And this, is a, this particular object is interesting. 1960s, late 1950s, 1960s, well, it's a drum machine. Uh, he's given us the insides. Uh, he's shown us the, the circuit board. I think we can see a continuity um, thematically, if you want. It's, um, I just think it's a particularly interesting example of um, how technology ages and how we're fascinated. I think artists uh, are fascinated, especially maybe with um, a certain kind of old um, electronic and this electronics. Um, here we've got what we've got is a is a kind of fresco at the back. It's the Italian. It's a 16th century Italian uh, painter, Cosimi uh, di Piero. It represents a forest fire. Got all manner of animals represented in it, including one can see here another. I think obsession, the human-faced animal, just there. And here we have. I think it's a West African um, ritual. Um, object. Um, for me, it seems to continue that theme of human representation of uh, certain categories of animals. Here, it seems to me to be, it reminds me of the bison, it reminds me of the kind of bull, uh, this, this particular uh, object. Taken together, gives us this, this idea of humans thinking through animals, humans representing animals. As the uh, anthropologist Levi Strauss says, uh, humans don't necessarily just eat animals, they like to think through animals. Uh, animals are not just good to eat, they're good to think.